Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome to your channel. We have some more noodles. As many of you know, we are, I guess what you would say, preppers. What we do is we do like to store a lot of uh, like food, like especially dry food. We like to store it long term, you know, just in case. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I mean, we store a lot of <clears throat> like beans and rice and you know, just things like that. Well, with that being said, we had a company reach out to us and it's called uh, Discount Mylar Bags. And they sent us some of their products to to test out stuff. <clears throat> Actually, they sent us quite a bit of their products to test out. So it's this box full right here. In this box, it's got the, actually quite a bit of stuff. It was a roll. I'll tell you what all this stuff is here. Uh, this roll right here is called, uh, these are called steel pack bags. These right here. What it is, these are uh same thing as like the vacuum sealers. If you take, well, let me just set this down here and I'll get all this out of the way. Regular vacuum sealers, they won't use like slick Mylar bags, you know? So like, just for example, say this one right here. See how this is slick on both sides? A regular vacuum sealer won't seal that. Our chamber back will, but that's where this comes in. It's called steel pack bag. If, if you see the, the texture on it right there, you can see the texture on both sides. And really, you gotta have texture on, only on one side for it to work in a regular vacuum sealer. And this right here is like a roll, so just like you would get for a regular vacuum sealer. You pull it off and you cut it where you want it. You know, seal one side and then put your food in it, vacuum it, seal it on the other side. So this right here is really kind of what I'm most excited about, this roll of stuff right here. All right, they sent us a, a bunch of uh, like Ziploc type style bags. You zip them, then you seal them. And then you can tire apart. You can tire that's got the tire tab on it. Uh, they sent us a bunch of different things. Like here's the smaller bags. All right, here's the paperwork that they sent us. I can read this off. Uh, what that come out of? Okay, they sent us some oxygen absorbers too. These are slow acting oxygen absorbers. The 500 cc's I sent. They are the best available oxygen absorbers for freeze-dried food because they act slower powering lowering condensation risk they are usable with all foods uh what he's talking about is sometimes sometimes these things get hot say like a vacuum sealer certain brands of these will get Kyle's condensation in your back because they'll get hot and that's what he's referring to and these are like slow acting so it's not supposed to do that all right uh they sent us some these are 2000s and these are 500s I see there's, I really don't know how many is in here. And this one, I think there's 40. I believe it says 40 on it. And this one says, I want to say 80. I'm not real sure. That's a bunch for 2000s. But anyway, them 2000s are good for like five gallon buckets and stuff like that. And these other ones, the 500s are good for like gallon bags and sits like that. So I can pour one of these bags here. Okay. These right here, I guess I could open it. Let me, let me tire this open. That's how you would tire it open, the bags. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you guys what it is. These are called um, desiccant, desiccant, whatever the word is. These things are like, almost like an oxygen absorber, but it's kind of got, uh, I don't know how to explain these things. But what you do with them, you can put them in your gun safes, uh, you can put them in your closets, you can put them in uh, anything, but what they're intended for with say like a, a food storage company, okay, say you've got sugar, you wanna store that sugar for long, long term, years and years and years, most of the time you can't. But uh, you take a five gallon bucket, put this Mylar bag in that five gallon bucket, and chunk you two or, threes in, two or three of these in there, and that sugar will not get hard. It will not clump, it'll be just, just like it is when you pour it out of the bag if you put these in there. It keeps. It pulls the moisture out, so no moisture gets in there, and that's what causes sugar and stuff to clump. The guy at the prepper store, he said he used them and opened one five yep. years later, did he not? Yep. These are the same. Yeah. It's basically the same stuff that he was telling us about in the video. The, the desiccant, desiccants, uh, and I told everybody I would get the information on them, uh, which I did, but I figured I'd wait until we've done this video, and that's what they are. That's that's what all they are, just little packs, okay? 
And like I said, there, there's tons of bags in this box that he sent. And I will tell you this much, as far as the quality, the quality of these things, these bags, I mean, I bought a lot of Mylar bags online, off the internet. I bought them from the stores. And I'm gonna tell you, these things feel, I'm gonna say twice as good as them things do, you know what I mean? The, the thickness of them is just, I know that these, they're seven mil bags, these are, these are seven mil bags. Okay, and these right here are basically five mil bags. But these seven mil bags, they feel twice as thick as the ones we bought at the store, the ones we put in the five gallon buckets. Okay, your seven mil bags are good for like uh, anything that'll puncture, puncture a bag. A lot of people like to store like uh, macaronis, uh, spaghetti noodles, anything sharp that'll poke a hole in a bag. That's what these things are for. These things, I mean, they, they feel way, way thicker. I mean, way better quality. Uh, I just gotta say, it, it just feels so much better. Even these things right here. All the bags in here, I mean, this, just the quality of these things. Pretty amazing, I mean, it really is. Okay, here's a bunch of the smaller ones. He sent a bunch of different ones to check out so people could see what all they had, what all you could get. You know, they got printed bags. Then they have these here a little bit bigger. Then they have these with designs on it. You can get basically all kinds of designs. These are the Ziploc type style bags, all these are. This is a wider bag. And then here's the smaller ones. You can put the little smaller ones right here. These would be good for like storing salts and sugar. I mean, well, not really sugars, but like salts, stuff like that, pepper, stuff like that, spices. I would think. Yeah, spices, stuff like that. All right, then let's see what else we got here. We got a bunch, we got some clear, well, not clear ones, but these are the kind of the longer bags, I would say. That's actually way longer. Just completely honest with you, what you can put in that, your pew pews would fit right in here. The long, the long, the long pew pews would fit right in here if you want to store it and put put it out of the way. Put a couple of those desiccant packs in here, put it in here, and run it in a vacuum sealer. Yeah, you could you could store that thing of puppy away for a long, long time. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably what that's for. If I ain't mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. If anybody out there put down in the comments, you know what this long bag's for, but that's what I'm thinking it's for. Yeah, but I mean that's the only thing. It's not on the it's not on the letter that he wrote me what it is, but I'm willing to bet that's what that's for. Because that just perfect size. Okay, and then he sent us some I guess these are what you consider five gallon bags. These would be more the for the like the square by square buckets and these right here are more for the round five gallon buckets right here but man the, the quality of these things is just one side there's one side of this is thicker than both sides of those other bags we got from the store and, and stuff. we'll probably do another video with this sugar and stuff in them oh yeah yeah we're gonna put sugar in five gallon buckets and we're gonna use those des desiccant packs i don't know if i'm saying that word correctly or not i'm probably butchering that that's all the bags that he sent us, just to show you guys what they were. That's a lot, though. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a lot. But this one right here has kind of got me curious. I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. I have to email him and ask him what that's for, but I'll, I'll bet you that's what that's for. I'm pretty sure of it, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll hold a very large, real nice pew-pew. Here's a letter he sent me that says, uh, why choose discount Mylar bags? It's because we have better bags and better oxygen absorbers. And I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to agree with him on that. I really am because the quality of these things, I mean, yeah. the thickness of them, you know, it's just really impressive that it really is. Yeah, Some it's of, amazing. Yeah, this, I mean, it's just truly, truly wild how thick these things are. Even the five mil bags, these are the sevens, but even the fives are, are just the unbelievably. Quality. I mean, really I mean, look at those little bags. Those are cool right there. <laughs> I see here. Different size bags. Like I was saying, there's the five mil bags. Here's the seven. But the five mil bags are pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Bunch of different sizes. I guess you guys would have to know what size you wanted or if you see anything in here, you just like, hey, what size was so-and-so, whatever. I mean, you can 
you can hit us up, whatever, and I'll, I'll try to answer it because there's so many of them. I really don't know what size bags these are. It, they're not marked. It'll also send you a, uh, it's like a sheet. <clears throat> it'll tell you like what size bag and how much it'll hold. It, it's like a little, like a little cheat sheet. I guess if you guys want to pause that and read that or whatever, there you go, there's that. That tells you basically if you can, I'll have to check on the camera and make sure you can read that, but. Uh, if not, you can always comment yeah. and we can answer that. Yeah, or, or contact us and I'll send you a copy of this, you know, if you want, or contact the company. Here's kind of kind of some of the kind of some of the stuff he sent us on the bag. It's a steel pack and slow act slow acting oxygen absorbers. That's a steel pack and the oxygen absorbers that he sent. Right here's what I was talking about. It says if you freeze dry, slow acting oxygen absorbers are a must. Many oxygen absorbers produce enough heat to cause condensation in your bags of freeze dried foods, potentially ruining your food. And you know any moisture whatsoever in a freeze dried food is going to ruin it. Okay, these are the slow acting ones. They activate over a full seven days instead of 24 to 48 hours like standard oxygen absorbers do, and we, which is pretty much spot on. You know, normally the, the standard oxygen absorber just, you put you put it in there and the next morning, you know, it's, it's done what it's gonna do. Okay, and then he goes to talk about these steel packs. So steel pack is the only line of Mylar vacuum bags ca compatible with most food saver and other vacuum sealers. Uh, that's what I was talking about earlier that uh, for a vacuum sealer to use this right here, one side has to at least have this texture on it. It can't be slick on both sides like a standard Mylar bag, like these things right here. They have that slick on both sides. You got it. You got to have texture on it for because it, it has to have a way to get the oxygen out. We'll do some uh, packing here, and we have some rice and we have some beans. We got the one pound bags of rice and one pound bags of beans. All right, because whenever we store food. I like to store it no more than two pounds because, you know, if you open these things up, say in a five gallon bucket, you got five gallons of pinto beans, you done not open the whole box or the whole bucket. I mean, you gotta continue to eat off of it till it's gone because I wouldn't want it to go bad. And if you do it this way, it does take more bags. It, does, it takes a lot more bags and it probably takes time more space. But to me, you're not wasting as much food, you know, as you're just not, I just like it that way better. But that's the way we're going to do it. We're going to, all our food is stored basically in round, well, we have some bags around four pounds, around four pounds of beans. Uh, we did that just because. So here's, yeah, this is four pounds right here. This is a four pound bag of beans right here, pinto beans. So basically, the way that I like storing them is basically half of that. So, what we do is we go to Walmart and we buy the pinto beans in 20 pound bags. You can buy a 20 pound bag of pinto beans at Walmart, or you can buy one pound bags at your Dollar General store. You know, these are a dollar a bag right here. And the so, rice we buy at Sam's. Yeah, not this rice, this comes from Dollar Store here. Yeah, but we can buy 50 pound bags of rice at Sam's. Yeah, it's like $24 for 50 pound bag. But we're gonna put all this, this rice and these beans, we're gonna put these in those Mylar bags. All right guys, we're gonna try a couple of these other bags. The steel pack bags on the roll, this roll of bags is too wide for our chamber vac. So we're just gonna use a couple of other bags, which is fine. We'll take these. open up the oxygen absorbers. We're gonna use the 500 cc oxygen absorbers in those bags. One should be plenty for those bags. And once we open them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chunk them in this pint jar. Cause these things, they activate pretty quick. I don't know if they're all fitting or not. We may have to get a quart jar. A lot of people don't like storing them in jars. They say they go bad, but not really as long as you put the lid on it. Keep them stored. There's a little thing in here, this right here. Just throw that in the jar with it. As long as you can see it, like, like I just did. Okay, put the lid on it like that. And that's perfectly fine. Okay, and these two, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chunk one into the rice. Just stick it down in the rice. Okay, and then 
second damn one. We're just sticking right down in the beans. Alrighty. Okay. Pull that down. Close that lid. All right. Made that. Keep giving her. Okay. That's all clumped up on the end right there. I should have flattened that out. But I mean, it's as hard as a rock. Okay, we'll lay that in here. And then, like I was saying, you take your hand and just kind of rub, rub it down a little bit. Like this. And give her. I will tell you, I'm, I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm pretty impressed with these bags. I mean, the thickness of them and stuff, it's pretty impressive. If you're in the, if you're a prepper, you're in the food storage, long-term food storage, and you're storing Mylar bags, you definitely need to look this company up because these bags are, are pretty impressive. The thickness and the quality, the feel of them is just, is just so much different, so much better. Hold that one up here. Yeah, see it? It's hard as a rock. All right, guys, these, these B-Bores, um, let me explain something right quick. Uh, if you use a regular vacuum sealer, you only get one strip through here. You know to seal it but now if you look at the top of this seal right here how it sealed this one how wide that is and all the way across that's how these things seal it's got a piece of heat tape kind of stuff in there that does that and i mean they absolutely do an amazing job it's like like checkered pattern through there or cross pattern whatever they call it and these type of bags right here is the kind you just reach and grab and tire it right there pour what you want out of it and then you can reseal it if you wanted to but i mean that's that's going in our long-term storage right there. It'll probably last longer than we do. So we're just experimenting with them and putting uh, kind of, I guess what you would say, sharper type object in them. We have, yeah, just basically noodles. Like we'll make a something with noodles. First step, the the pointy noodle. Okay, here's a cheese packet. The macaroni. That's actually a little bit. You got a smaller bag to use? Uh, a smaller one. Yeah, we'll do a smaller one for that. Yeah. Right here. That's perfect right there. That's like half that size. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can see that. Or not see but zip. Okay, pull that in there. And just take the cheese just like that. And then kind of put it right in there just, just the way it is. That's how we do it. I don't know. A lot of people probably won't agree with that, but like I said, we opened some that was, we stored back in 2016 or 17, one or the other, and it tastes just like you just bought it. So, hamburger helper. This is a cheesy hash brown hamburger helper. Cheesy hash brown hamburger helper. And basically, all you need is this box, a little bit of water, and a little bit of butter and your hamburger meat and we do have a video of us canning jarring hamburger meat so we have that also okay, okay i was about to say I had something else go with okay we'll take this get him open Me personally, I don't like these, uh, but if the time comes we have to open this bag, I'm gonna love it. I'm if you like, love. like the stroganoff ones and things yeah. like that. Then here's the instructions on how to cook it. Cut off the box, you just cut it. What we'll do is we'll plug it right in here with this right here. guys the noodles okay give her what you have right there is a bag full of crinkled up noodles there's that i flatten it out just a little bad that's what she's gonna get right there Flat as a flitter, as my mama would say. 
Gibber. I don't know that. Listen to it. You hear it? Yeah. Crinkling them things up? Yeah. I know it's gonna do those, crinkle those up a little bit. Cause those are like real fine. Here is the macaroni and cheese. Close them up. Give her. Once again, flat as a flitter. Mm. Alrighty guys, uh, that's gonna do it for this video, but I mean, that, that's hard as a rock. These bags, uh, again, this is not a sales pitch. This, these, uh, this company sent us these bags and I'm free to say what I want to about them. And if they wasn't no good, I'll tell you straight up, they're no good, but I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of these things. I really am. Like I said, we bought bags online different stores online the store over there in waynesville and stuff like that but these bags are just i mean they're just hard to explain even the, the color is is more i was just talking about that a second ago the color is like more i don't say dense like it's just you can tell it's thicker you can tell it's a better quality you know i don't, I don't know how else to explain it but i, I can tell a difference in it and like i said this thing hard to rock but that's all due to the the v-board chamber vacuum over here well i'll leave a link to that thing too down in the description like i said and that way you guys if you're interested in something like that you can check it out we use that all the time we will be using those desk desk whatever that word is disc or whatever it is for the sugar when we store sugar along we're gonna put it in five gallon buckets in a in a mylar bag and we'll put a couple of those in it and probably put two three of them in there because he sent us a whole gigantic bag of them we'll put two or three of those in the sugar and the sugar will be good for indefinite you know indefinite uh these things uh I, I forgot to mention these these little packs these desiccant whatever the word is that you want to use for this right here these things are in good for indefinitely it, the the shelf life on these things are it says indefinite you know what i'm pretty much you they'll be on a shelf good whenever we're off the shelf and bad so. and the quality of these bags I'm, I'm just i'm just really impressed the name of this company is discount mylar bags uh, I will leave a link in the description of how to get in touch with them and stuff like that. And I'm telling you, if you won't be disappointed if you buy these bags from them because they're they're pretty daggone impressive. And like I said, we bought a ton of bags and, and I'm pretty impressed with them. Anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button if you like this kind of content. Help our channel grow a little bit. Yeah, if you got if you guys want to see us store sugar long term, let us know and we'll show you how we do it. And how we're how we're gonna store it and safely and keep it on the shelf for years and years, you know, just indefinite. Uh, like like our wheat, oats, and stuff like that. And you can store sugar, salt, pretty much anything like that. Either way, guys, uh, you won't be disappointed with these things. Trust me, it's not, I'm pretty impressed, and I've stored a lot of food in bags. So discount my large bags, guys. Check them out. Thank you. I like and subscribe. There you go. Good job.